Welcome to the RxJS video series. My name is Austin Culp, and I'm a senior enterprise software engineer at Freebug. Today, we're going to talk about the operator catch error. In short, the catch error operator provides us the means to cache an error that's thrown during the execution of an observable and return a new observable instead of allowing the error to bubble up to the top of the stack. As arguments, we're given access to the actual error that was thrown, as well as the source observable itself. To get started, we need to understand the difference between native JavaScript control flow and RxJS control flow. In native JavaScript, we can use try catch blocks to catch and raise exceptions. The same approach with an observable subscription, not so successful. This is a basic example of us iterating through a stream of numbers and simulating an error being thrown. We can see by the output that our catch block was never executed and our error was thrown to the top of the call stack. So let's try implementing an error callback on the subscribe method call. This execution output looks a little bit more like what we're used to. Since the error in question was thrown inside the observable execution context, we were never given the opportunity to catch and handle it as we would with traditional catch blocks. However, if we implement an error callback on the subscription, we do get a chance to catch the error before it's thrown to the top of the stack. But at this point, the execution of the subscription that's thrown the air has already halted and we never got a chance to handle it. This is where catch air operator becomes an important tool for us at our RxJS workbench. We're now able to elegantly handle errors as they're propagated down the pipeline. There are a couple of reasons to use catch air. First, much like a traditional catch block, we want to trap an exception and do something with it further up the stack. Within the context of our RxJS execution, we can return a non-error value to the stream in order to provide a graceful fallback, or we can choose to throw a new error with the throw error function to act on later, for example, in the subscription error callback. Second, separation of concerns. Yep, that old chestnut. We can easily separate error handling logic with the actual calls generating the error. This allows for us to decompose our code more efficiently. We can pair catch error with retry to handle problem HTTP responses by resubscribing to the source observable a specified number of tries, eventually catching and then returning the appropriate error response once we've exhausted all attempts. In the right scenario, we can also just resubscribe to the source observable handed to us by the catch error operator in the first place, imitating the functionality of the retry operator. Remember that catch error needs to return an observable. It can be easy to assume that catch error is simply a callback that doesn't return anything. I hope you found this short explanation helpful as the catch error operator can offer basic error handling functionality for your RxJS subscription, or it can be used to resubscribe to the source observable if the conditions are right for it. Make sure you check out some of our other lessons in RxJS. Can't wait to see you in the next video.